Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Trevor Hawley with Bali Texture Property, where we specialize in villa development, management, and marketing. And I'm here at Villa Senna. It's behind me. We're located at Petsatu Bali. We also have a pretty nice deep pool here, so I think a pool test is worthy of this villa. A special thanks to the Lux Nomad who operates and manages this villa. They were kind enough to let us tour around. So before we get started, please like and subscribe and let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so Villa Senna is five bedroom. It fits up to 12 guests, very family friendly as well. So this villa is secluded. It's the ultimate getaway. And it's done that for a reason, as you'll see from the views that, that we'll get to check out in a second. But let's just go ahead and go on in. Now, when you stay at Villa Senna, expect a full staff as well as the Lux Nomad concierge service. So we uh, have access to cars, private chefs, uh, drivers, you know, whatever you need, it's all provided for here. Let's jump inside and take a look as I'm sure they're about ready to, to greet us as we come in. Hello. Terima kasih. Yep. Friendly staff as usual in Bali. Uh, it, I never get tired of it. So, uh, and this certainly feels nice today. It's a little hot, uh, but with a nice breeze too. So as we come inside through the entrance, you can see that we've got a big courtyard, lawn, pool stretching out and then this uh, an incredible view over here. So before we check out all of this over here, let's go ahead and jump up to some of the bedrooms and check out the style and interior design of Villa Senna. And right away I noticed, uh, you know, everything's very bright and light here, which I really like. It's, uh, it's nice, it kind of has like a Mediterranean feel to it, yet still in ba Bali and still, uh, still modern with some of the uh, brushed steel finishings. So come on up. We've got a, a rooftop area, a you know, hangout place that I'm sure is great for sunsets. Um, and we've got the two rooms next to each other here. So a nice big, big balcony that overlooks the cliff side. Um, let's go ahead and head into the rooms. All right, so I come into the first room here and this is the room that's set up for kids. So we've got uh, dual bunk beds as well as a couch uh, hangout area and then this giant chair lounge thing, which I don't know what to call it right now, but it looks comfortable. And then this room is actually connected with the other bedroom. Uh, again, very family friendly because you have immediate access to the kids here so you can check up on them. And as far as the room feel goes, you know, it's, it's bright, it's white. Uh, it's really inviting, it's really homey. We've got just tons of natural light coming in from this door, so, uh, and the view, I'll tell you, is uh, amazing, as, as you should see right now. Let's go ahead and check out the bathroom, and, and uh, I see this giant flamingo uh, painting, which is awesome. Very, really nice marble stone tub here. And I like the stone floor tiles as well, so it's, it you know, feels very high quality. Um, but also has a nice ocean feel to it with the colors used. A lot of blues, a lot of, you've got some seashell stuff on the side and on the, the bathroom counters. And then I like the shell use, you know, in these little touches. So let's come on in into this other bedroom. And it's, uh, again, you know, so I also haven't seen all of this villa as usual. You know, I wanted to keep a little bit of it fresh so I can kind of get my initial reactions. And I really like the feel of this. It's modern with the bed platform in the middle. Um, it's got the pitched ceiling that's got, you know, the traditional Bali style ceilings, you know, high quality furniture. It just, it's, it's really nicely done. So um, I also like the tile work, how they've kind of laid this out. It just feels very clean, very fresh. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, if we open up the doors here, uh, give me just a second, because should be able to do this. That's your view right there, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. Looking over to the beaches, uh, I've got a nice breeze coming in. It's still a little warm outside, so I'll use my little towel here, but um, this is, it's, it's legit, so. So uh, each room in this villa has its own ensuite bathroom, so let's check out 
Uh, I guess we'd call this the master bath. And uh, again, really nice light. We've got natural stone uh, hanging out. So you have a lot of that, still that natural feel to it. Tons of light, uh, again, some shelves. So I feel like I'm, uh, I'm next to the ocean, right? So this is a, it's a just really nice feel. Really high quality too, like the way that the stone's done. You can just tell the, the craftsmanship is, is really high end, so. All right, so uh, the other bedrooms are downstairs, but before we go downstairs, I wanna check out this, uh, this little rooftop deck area. So it looks like it's not really, you know, it's not quite the party deck yet. Uh, we've got, a, got the plant in the way here, and it looks a little bit more for function, but at that same point in time, um, it gives you another area that you can get another perspective of this villa too. So uh, let's go ahead and head downstairs and check out the rest of the rooms. All right, as I head downstairs, we've got another bedroom that's to the right here, which is to the right of the entrance. Uh, and right away, I like it, you know, it's, it's glassed in, so it's got a different kind of vibe to it. It gives it that modern touch. And I, I like having this little kind of traditional decoration seating area here, you know. In all Bali villas, like that's the best part is you get all these amazing uh, antiques, uh, sculptures and decorations, uh, just kind of sitting around. So this room is certainly different from any other that I've seen. We're encased in glass here. It's, uh, it's really interesting. It's cool, it's got a, you know, it's different. Um, it's also very nicely air conditioned. I gotta say the air conditioning so far, I thought I was gonna need my little towel maybe, but uh, uh, it's really comfortable. So this is really comfortable. We've got a great view. Uh, I love just the wall to wall windows, uh, totally unique. So, but again, lots of bright colors, uh, bright lights, you know, obviously a bunch of natural light and then um and then these curtains uh, we've got the blackout curtains here too so obviously it's still private it also blocks out the sound really well too uh, i really really can't hear the breeze or outside um another ensuite bathroom as we come in that is divided up between the uh toilet area and then a, a shower area as well so uh, no full tub in this bedroom just a shower but Still a, a good use of the space, so. All right, I'm kind of curious your thoughts on this bedroom, you know, with the all glass around, I kind of feel like a, uh, like a luxurious goldfish or something like that. I, I don't know how else, how else to put it, but uh, comment below uh, what you think of this. So let's go ahead and head over to the other two bedrooms, which are just next to each other, uh, right across the way here. So. We've got the next two bedrooms over here uh, next to each other and then uh, the living room uh, building is over on this side. So go ahead and follow me inside. And it's uh, again nicely air conditioned, very comfortable here, uh, great views outside of the courtyard. Um, and. Lots of different sculptures, you know, I always like seeing that. They don't, it's not like they're choosing these from Ikea, right? You know, these are these are authentic and they're all different. And uh, and I like how no no two rooms are exactly the same, so. So we come through another ensuite bathroom. And again, a different, a different layout too. So we've got a shower space over here. There's no bath, so it's just a shower, but uh, nice big mirror. I like the stone work, you know, just, just a lot of stone. So again, a lot of natural touches and feel. Um, but also notice that it's got uh, a full, you know, floor to ceiling glass by the, shadow, uh, by the shower. But it's also frosted, so you still have your privacy. And it's, a, it's just a little area that, uh, it's just got some trees and grass in it. So it's just kind of that added, you know, area of nature to kind of flow into everything. Uh, but you still still got your private space. So, as I'm coming out of the ba of this bedroom, I, I really got to point out I like this little um, coffee and tea nook, you know, with the table. I can see just enjoying a relaxing morning, looking out over the pool, having a nice tea or coffee, whatever your preference is, and uh, you know, really just relaxing here. So, um, let's go ahead and go next door to this last bedroom here. All right, so the last bedroom here and. Um, it's cool, it's, it's, uh, it's still different. You know, it's got different sculptures, different fixtures. I really like this kind of shabby chic, you know, light fixture here. Another little breakfast table, nice big king size bed, and a, a lounge chair area here. So, uh, and then 
I see over here this really awesome uh, wall hanging. So it's this traditional stone carved Balinese wall hanging here, which just gives a really cool vibe to the, to the bedroom. Another thing is this giant mirror. This thing's huge. I mean, this is, uh, you know, you've got a 10, 10 foot mirror. It's nice, clean, and, uh, and lots of, you know, good hanger space here and stuff too. But again, just something different is, is what I like seeing. Uh, the bathroom here basically mirrors the other one. So same layout, shower space, uh, frosted glass. You know what? I just saw something. I didn't, I didn't see this before. You know what? I think we can go outside. Ha! <laughs> we can. Oh, how cool is that? So if you want to air dry, <laughs> that's, so, that's so cool. So, you know, shower, air dry out here. Nobody can really see you, I don't think. So uh, I totally didn't expect that. So just this own private courtyard next to the showers. So definitely an interesting feature here. All right, so before we head over to the game and entertainment room over here, let's, uh, let's check out the kitchen. Um, I love this huge pane of glass, by the way. It's just, uh, it's awesome. And uh, hey, how's it going? Thank you. Oh my gosh. So um, as is traditional with the Lux Nomad service, they always give you your welcome drink. Uh, it always makes you feel good and that you're in somewhere special. So, uh, and, oh wait. This one's not a straw on this one, so I uh, get my vitamins in for today. Um, so yeah, full staff, uh, so we'll be able to cook you whatever you want. Um, and we've got a really nice area, big countertop space. I like the concrete, um, but it's just, it's really set up for, for entertaining and a lot of room for a lot of people to move around in as we're, you know, standing out here enjoying the courtyard. So thanks again, guys. So cheers. Big table, you know, the, the rest of this villa, as we kind of get more over here away from the bedrooms is set up for a lot of entertainment. Um, huge table, huge bench seating that, again, everything's kind of centralized on this view that looks out to the ocean uh, and then the, the rest of the village area below. Um, so let's check out the gaming area first and then, uh, and then we'll take a look at the pool, yeah? All right, so uh, this place is, is really set up to do some proper hanging out. <laughs> we've got, uh, as you'll see, we've got a pool table, uh, big screen TV, couches inside, uh, you know, a nice air conditioned space where we can relax and enjoy the company of everybody. Um, still have this insane view, right? So uh, let's head on in, give it a look. All right, so I'm a, uh, I'm greeted by nice cold air in here. The, the air conditioning is working nicely. And, um, and we've got a pool table. So, I mean, how, how awesome is this? I have yet to see a, a pool table in a villa. So again, really family friendly here. Wow, we've got games, uh, awesome. You know, we've got Bose sound system uh, surround speakers here as well. So, and a massive flat screen TV. This is the hangout spot, you know? So this is your own, uh, own place to relax. Yep, great spot for entertaining. I've heard they also have a badminton set, which is perfect for the lawn area. Um, let's go ahead and check out the lawn and, uh, and then maybe take a look at this pool, yeah? All right, so let's, uh, let's, let's really check this out. You know, the courtyard is where everybody can hang out, where we can play some badminton, uh, enjoy the coconut trees, obviously use the pool. I did also notice here that there's a detached bathroom that's perfect for guests to be able to uh, freshen up, change whatever they need uh, if they're using the pool and, uh, and wet. So uh, eh, let's go, let's go give a look over here. Yeah. Huge deck. You know, this is a, a proper pool. You know, we've got day beds, uh, infinity pool. I think it's 18 meters. I also like how it's, um, it's angled. It's in like an L shape. So you've got a couple of sections, a shallower section over here. Uh, but this is, this looks pretty deep. This looks, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks, this looks good. Okay. All right. This looks good enough. I don't think I'll get too hurt on this one.
All right, well, a, a fairly successful pool test. I think I popped off a shirt button on that one, but uh, curious, you're the judge. Tell me your style score in the comments below. Other than that, that does it for this tour of Villa Sena. Uh, we wanna give another huge thanks to the Lux Nomad for letting us check this place out. If you're looking to rent Villa Sena, we'll leave a link below where you can contact the Lux Nomad for more information. And if you're looking for more info on Villa developments, management and marketing, you can contact us at Bali Texture. We'll also leave a link below. Make sure and like and subscribe. We're gonna have some more video tours to you pretty soon here. Uh, I'm Trevor Hawley here in Bali and I uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.